Well, 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 this is one of the most interesting things that I thought I could see happen to the trading card game world today. Make sure you guys smash the living crap out of that subscribe button so you guys don't miss out on more awesome content. Hollow Life comes out of, I, well, I can't really say nowhere here, with the announcement of their own trading card game. And before you're like, Robbie, what does this have to do with Yu-Gi-Oh? I do like talking about the trading card game sphere as a whole on this channel because this is going to be another slap to Yugi's face to get their gosh darn shit together. That's right. That's why I'm excited about this. Not only has been One Piece over here actually doing a lot of damage to Yu-Gi-Oh! Contrary to popular belief, I initially didn't think that you know One Piece was kind of doing the, uh, the amount of damage that it was, but it actually, it's been doing... Oh, man, when you're offering actual good price support and you're siphoning Yu-Gi-Oh's player base, yeah, Yu-Gi-Oh is still pulling large numbers. But I mean, like, if you're as long as they're chipping away and they're doing their job, that's going to make Yu-Gi reevaluate its thing. So this one or this one piece, this Hollow Live game gets announced, and I'm sitting here, I'm like, wow, you know, they basically for those of you that don't know, why Shores did what was it four collab sets with Hollow Live? And made four booster series, and I'm I'm almost pretty sure that cover took a look at the the proffer from that and said, you know what? Why are we why are we giving all of our money to Bushi Road over here? Why are we doing this? Why don't we just why don't we just make our own card game? You know, it, it's literally that that's what it is. It's like they saw the numbers, they were like, holy crap! You know, why are we not capitalizing on this? Why are we not taking advantage of this? You know, like we're just we're letting somebody else take advantage of us. Like, okay, so we're gonna we're gonna make our own card game. It's literally the episode of Futurama with the 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 blackjack and hookers and BS that you know <laughs> you had had brought up. And it's just like, well, hey, congratulations, we have a new trading card game coming to the sphere. Um, my only, I, I actually I don't have any concerns about this whatsoever because. It's a proven fact that, like, the Hollow Live player base fans, they'll absorb this. They will have no problem in their market whatsoever. I, I don't feel. Now, there's going to be some interesting things that do come with this that I don't really, uh, I don't know if people have really thought too much into. How does this hurt, you know, the possible other VTubers um, that already, one, do collabs? with this stuff. This is also only Hollow Live itself. You do have all the other companies and stuff, the indie VTubers and stuff that do other things, but I'm kind of curious to know, you know, how this is going to affect those ones that might partake in other trading card games. You know, the ambassadors that I'm not really too familiar with the ambassadors and who go what where with this sort of stuff and how it'll impact, you know, maybe maybe they want to play Digimon or something, you know, maybe some of these other card games on their channels you know how how do you always have to promote this or are you allowed to you know diversify and still showcase all of this other stuff i'm, I'm not really going to get too far into that because that's an entirely different can of worms but i am kind of curious about that and um back to this hammering down on Yu-Gi-Oh. Yu-Gi-Oh has been in a pretty fluctuant state as of late um, I will say that the Hello Kitty collab was a was a pretty good thing to try to get people into the game, but we're at the era right now where I think Yugi needs to take advantage of doing more of these little collabs out here. I don't know uh, if it really. I, I don't know people, or I don't feel like people want this game to turn into Magic: The Gathering, with the universes beyond. You know, like porting in all the different IPs, but like we could we could test some waters. I. With the way that Yu-Gi-Oh! is right now, I don't think anybody would be opposed to, you know, trying out, oh, you know, hey, we can make, like, a promo card or something out here. You've done restaurant collabs. You've done, you know, all this other sorts of stuff. You know, we can try other things. We can have more alt arts, you know. Open up the doors a little bit and start testing out stuff here. You're about to have another competitor come in here and start siphoning off your player base even more. And I guarantee you, all right, if you didn't feel the burn from One Piece's better price support, you're about to feel this shaving off another portion of your fan player base. And I'm sorry to tell you that, but the reality of the situation here is we have more trading card games than we have ever, ever, ever had in existence at the same time. All right. You have, I, I cannot think of a time where you've had this. Now, 
you do have a lot of trading card games that are on kind of what we're going to call the last legs out here. Looking at you, Battle Spirits. All right. I, I have, they took away cash pricing. A lot of people are massively upset about that. But, I mean, when your advertising point is cash prizes and then, you know, the game's not doing so good, you just kind of, whoop, where'd it go? Uh, the new Dragon Ball game's doing fantastic. Um, I haven't heard anything about Digimon, good or bad, honestly. I know they're trying to do a simultaneous release with the world, which is going to be very interesting. And One Piece just continues to chugga, 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 you know, through the, the expressway. And Pokemon finally got to a format that I would consider looks playable, in my opinion. So... Everything else, I mean, Magic, I haven't heard any negativity out of Magic. Uh, the Fallout boxes, I think, were pretty well received. But in terms of, you know, the Sphere, having one more of these card games come in, drop down here. Oh, yeah. I'm just, my, my first question is, you know, how are the, how is this going to handle the TCG market? How much is sales going to be impacted by this literal behemoth coming into the room here? And doing its thing. Also, are we gonna are we gonna see an English release of this? If this does port in as Japan only, I do think that it's gonna be a little bit different of a story. But considering you know just how big this is, um, I definitely think that they're probably gonna go for an uh, English release. Probably you know port on into the other markets out there as well. Anything is highly possible. Like, this is literally the primordial destruction of the, the, the landscape out here. Another Titan entering into the arena on this scale is going to do some damage. So, uh, Robbie, why, why are you being so negative today? Like, why do you, why do you want Yu-Gi-Oh! to... Why, why are you saying all this? I'm so sick of the state that things are in right now. This lack of we're going to hold the ban list, no legacy reveals this week. The fact that it just literally looks like we shut down and we don't know what the heck we're doing here. And if other companies are making better decisions in the game you love, you want the thing that you treasure, you want it to be better. You want them to get their shit together and you want them to go, all right, you know, you fucked up for too goddamn long, get your shit together, and let's get this game back on its tracks. You know, it's highly possible. And there are a lot of subpar decisions that have been made as of late. And I'm hoping that as more of this competition kind of comes into the arena here, and more and more people, you know, talk about this stuff, we'll have to wait and see. And also, I like, I'm just, I'm kind of curious to know what they're going to do with this. I want to, I want to see the mechanics, I want to see, you know, what kind of game style of play, what kind of collectability that this game is going to have, and just overall, the little things like that. that. That's what I'm curious about. You know, variety is a good thing. I think that having more options available is always going to be a good thing. You know, maybe maybe you don't want to play One Piece today. You know, maybe you want to go try out something else. Uh, I, I also, I do want to test, personally, I was working on putting together Lorcana just to be able to kind of, we have an event coming up here in the the near future. I was like, you know, this kind of this kind of looks fun. You know, let's go ahead and kind of see what we can mess around with and have have a little bit of fun. Because some days, you know, Yugi doesn't look playable. Other days, you're like, yeah, you know, I don't have a Pokemon event today. Let's go try something else. I don't have one piece in my area, so I can't really go do that. But it's it's all about the different card game experiences the different communities, and the chance to just see what players are going to come up with. And I, honestly, I do think we're in a golden age of TCGs, especially with the announcement of this. So, are you guys ready for Hollow Live the TCG? Oh, baby. Please, leave a comment down below. Tell me what you guys think. Do you guys think that this is going to slap Yugi around a little bit in the secondary market competition? Um, maybe, maybe we'll see some more actual... I'm telling you, the, the collab thing is probably something that needs to really happen out here so that Yugi can kind of start its, you know, I guess exploring other things. But it just, it feels like, you know, we're always about the nostalgia, nostalgia, nostalgia. And it's like, we need to change directions. We need to try something else. We have so many options available to us. Dual Monsters is a vast landscape of stories that have not been told. I do think with the animation studio, though, that might actually change Shifty Eyes. I just don't think we're going to see it just yet. But alas, we'll have to wait and see. So comment down below, tell me what you guys think. I'll see your beautiful faces back here later in the day, guys. Peace out. Patrons, thank you. Ah!
Ball. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Check out these other videos.